What is going on, guys? This is the Club of the Man 1993, and for the first time in almost two months, we're here for episode number 257 of WWE Turn Alert as we discuss a return and a heel turn and a main roster debut for somebody that I'm actually, even though he's in a very strange role as another lackey of The Miz. I think as a, in a temporary position, a, being a lackey will be fine. But again, for the miss, it's kind of repetitive. Outside that, though, let's talk about him. Bronson Reed, who was released from WWE last year as part of Budget Cuts. And again, it was right after he dropped the NXT North American Championship and it was right after he was really, really picking up momentum. He was really starting to hit his niche. He, I mean, it took a bit. He was in the in the one year year before it was he was in the NXT Breakout Star Tournament. Took him a bit to kind of you know find his rhythm going, but of course he eventually did like really grow on me. So much so also that Vince McMahon, what he was one of the guys that Vince McMahon was giving tryout matches for on episodes of Main Event. Uh, of course, most people were released. I know Karrion Cross was somebody else too. And remember, he had Karrion Cross lose in his main roster debut as NXT champion with a roll-up from Jeff Hardy. But anyways, those days are way in the past. So Bronson Reed did get released. But he headed over to New Japan Pro Wrestling, wrestled under the name Jonah, and again, he, I mean, I didn't get to see any of them, but I've heard so many good things about his work in New Japan. He really, really, like, I took the momentum he had when he left WWE, and he really took it to New Japan, and he just got onto a whole other level. I swear someone told me he beat Kazushika Okada, which, of course, is pretty big, since Kazushika Okada is literally a god over in New Japan and whatnot. And of course, now that Triple H is in charge and still bringing people back, even though apparently he's starting to get a little overwhelmed by them, because a lot of them aren't really doing much right now. But then again, like I've said with some other people, talents too. Some of these people, you know, we know they're great, but when they're coming back and whatnot, you kind of have like that vibe of like, okay, they're back, but it was an old toy that was pulled out of a toy box and the, you're still getting the cobwebs off them and dusting them up. That's why I think a lot of these talents are, you know, a little underwhelming right now. Bronson Reed, though, again, I think he's going to be, he's an excellent pickup for WWE to, to, to have return. Again, if he really you know, took that momentum and capitalized on it, got even better over in New Japan, it's going to be just another story for him. I mean, yes, okay, the lackey stuff with The Miz is, you know, again, very repetitive and whatnot. I feel that in a role as a lackey, though, just being himself, being a dominating, you know, big man and whatnot, I think he will be fine. He will be a single star, you know, in a few months and whatnot, and he is going to do some really, really good things. Heck, we might have matches with, like, maybe, like, you know, him and Braun Strowman. Don't do him and Omos, please. I mean, if you want to do him and Bobby Lashley, that'd be a pretty, you know, solid match. Him and Gunther. Maybe even him and Brock. Who knows? It could be interesting. But, um, but yes, I'm excited to see Bronson Reed back. And he's a heel, which is different. He's a babyface in NXT. So, we'll see how dominating he is. I think he, it's going to work out good for him. Like I said, I'd rather have him be somebody else's lackey rather than The Miz, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. I think he's going to play the role very, very well, in my opinion. So, yeah, I look forward to seeing what he does. As again, like I said, he recently just killed it in, in New Japan. So, hopefully, he's carrying that momentum back over to the States. In WWE. I think he will be a great addition of course to Raw. So guys that's my thoughts on Bronson Reed. Returning to WWE as a heel. Being Miz's lackey. As he helped the Miz uh, defeat Dexter Loomis. In that winner take all ladder match. What are your guys thoughts on Bronson Reed's return? Make sure you guys leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. Be sure as always to slap a like on the video. And subscribe for more content on my channel. And follow me on Twitter as well. At the Club of the Man. 93, which I believe is the first uh, turn I've done since I've changed that handle. But also, make sure to shout for Meatball Sub and follow me on TikTok at the Club of the Man 1993. And as always, guys, please stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.